The Baptist Joint Committee concentrates on one thing, religious liberty and, and what we consider to be its constitutional corollary, uh, the separation of church and state. So we're unique in that, in that sense. We're, we're the only religiously based group here on Capitol Hill that works only on church-state religious liberty issues. As soon as government starts to meddle in religion for or against, or take sides in religious disputes favoring one over another, someone's religious liberty is denied at that very point and everyone's is threatened. We do litigation, legislation, and education. We do litigation in the sense of filing briefs in the U.S. Supreme Court right across the street. We get involved in legislation, in working with Congress on church-state issues that arise in, in some of the legislation that they uh, are, are looking at. And, and we do education for everyone. The Baptist Joint Committee monitors church-state disputes. These things arise in state courts and in federal courts where someone alleges that their religious freedom has been violated. It's our responsibility to be able to follow those cases, interpret them, to write about them, and we're necessary to lend our name and support for one side to make sure that religious freedom continues to be strong and that decisions support religious freedom for all. We have been involved in uh, some of the landmark religious liberty legislation adopted by Congress over the past three decades, such as the Religious Freedom Restoration Act and the Equal Access Act which continue to provide legal protection today. The Baptist Joint Committee takes very seriously its role as educator to inform people about the importance of religious freedom, how America became a leader in religious freedom, why we have the protections that we have in the Constitution, and why it's important that we maintain strong protections for religious freedom as religion in America changes. Unlike the, the other freedoms that have just one provision in the First Amendment to, to ensure them, uh, religious liberty has two provisions. Our founders understood that you needed two to protect religious freedom. No establishment, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or the free exercise thereof, the second clause uh, that, that says the government shouldn't try to, to hurt religion or burden it or, or put it down. With the opening of the Center for Religious Liberty, we have even a better opportunity to serve those who support the Baptist Joint Committee. We have a space now to entertain more groups that come in and want to learn about the work we do, that want to be engaged in our work, that want to be trained to be better advocates for religious liberty. The Baptist Joint Committee traces its roots back to 1936 when uh, uh, Rufus Washington Weaver uh, had the very good idea of forming a Baptist presence in Washington, D.C. We like to think that religious liberty uh, in this country is, is much better off today than it was 80 years ago, and I think the Baptist Joint Committee had a lot to do with it.